yesterday's show were united in their frustration over being flat-chested and in their determination to have breasts for the first time in their lives. We arranged for them to consult with Dr. Alan Engler after the show. Did they follow through with their intention to get breast implants? Jessica, so I guess I don't always appreciate how much of an impact this makes on these women's lives. Sometimes, though, when you see them right after the surgery, seeing how emotional they are, Surgery's finished. <laughs> really brings home what a significant difference this is for them, and it's a wonderful feeling. Hey. Oh, 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 yeah, I want to see. <laughs> How do you like me now? <laughs> that kind of slurred. How do you like me now? <laughs> I like it. Well, uh, let's let's remind everybody what Michelle looked like before. The last time you saw her, there she is. Are you ready? Hold on to your chair, cause here she comes, Michelle. <laughs> Don't squeeze too hard. Do they have to worry about that? They'll be okay. They'll be okay. Okay. How do you feel? I feel absolutely great. You absolutely. fill out that top, honey. I know. Isn't it great? <laughs> well, ask him. So? I just want to know how much you're going to change. No. Well, I just don't want to hear the word dancer or any exotic dancer or <laughs> any of that. I don't no. want to hear none of that. No, none of this was for that. It was for me. Okay. It was all for well, me. We'll see how much changes, honey. Now, how do you feel? Changes. Do you feel like a different person? Oh, absolutely. I feel great. Totally changes you. So much more confident. And I would never wear something like this. <laughs> you would never in the past no, wear something never. like that. No. Wow, I bet shopping will be fun now. Oh, it's great. What size is your bra now? It's a full B. Just what you wanted. Yes, exactly what I wanted. Surgery and got right. breast implants. Now, Brian's wife, Jessica, was no exception, but he's still waiting to see her for the very first time since she did it. Brian, you ready? Bring her on. Okay, let's remind everybody yourself, uh, of the old Jessica. There she was, and here comes your wife. <laughs> you look happy. <laughs> Hi, Jess. Hi. How do you feel? <laughs> Good. You also carry yourself in a totally different way. Right. It's like you were all slumped shoulders and kind of rolled down, and now you are just standing tall. Out there. <laughs> you must be nervous to, to, you know, consider his feelings and think that he might be disappointed. How do you feel now, Jason? Uh, I, wasn't, I mean, Brian. Sorry, yeah. Brian. Well, I mean, I, they look nice. I, 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 I'll give the doctor that much. But, I mean, I'm, I'm just worried about, you know, the... The, the relationship and, and what's going to happen when we get back to the house, uh, you know, as, as far as, you know, her, her, her wanting to go out and, and, and flaunt herself around, uh, that, that kind of bothers me. But as far as her, her self-esteem and, and the way she looks, I mean, she looks great. And she looked great before she had it done. And uh, I, like, like I told Andy, he, he's only, the doctor's only improving what was there before, you know. And, Absolutely. And I think he would agree with that, too. Yes. The reactions that the patients have when they first wake up are generally thrilling to watch. Oh, right, girl, you are. <laughs> oh, yeah. There can be some very emotional outbursts. Thank you so much. You going to be very happy when you see your husband now. Wow. Well, now we know what her decision was. Let's remind everybody what she looked like before. Here's Jessica before, and here she is post-op. Jessica, come on out. Show us your boobs. Wow. Hot stuff. Hi, Jessica. No, I know you guys have stuff. He hasn't seen you in three weeks. I like your hair. Thank you. You look very pretty. Thank you. Very pretty. <laughs> Come on, you can you can look south for a little, Jason. What do you what do you think? <laughs> I don't know what to think. It's they, different. Well, let me say, they're perfect. 
I love him. He, I'm so happy. Yeah. Dr. Engler did an awesome job. He's amazing, job. isn't he? Oh, he's wonderful. He They're perfect. Wonderful. They, they don't look too big. They, they look like they suit her frame. That's what I yeah. tried to do, was to really get something that would match her, and I think it came out nicely on her. So are you completely happy? I am just completely ecstatic. I am all woman now. Chris will have a great result. I would expect her to be a little sore in the beginning. Of course, this has helped because you can look down right away and see the benefits of the procedure, so you know why you went through it. There's sort of an instant gratification with this procedure, and I think ultimately she'll be very happy with this. Yes, she has breasts. Let's take a look at what she looked like before her surgery. There was Chris, and here she is now. Get a load her. Hi there, Chris. Hi, Ricky. You Hi. You carry yourself like a totally different woman. Yeah, I'm happy. I'm content with myself. What was I the haven't experience? stressed the whole time since I got the surgery. One back pain, none. Really? None. <laughs> and so you're completely happy, 100%. I'm happy. Do you feel like it's changed your life? Yeah. How so? Because I, I was stressed, and it, every little thing would trigger me off. I'm a mother of three kids. If it's a problem that's bothering you that much to the least little thing that someone does, you're just, her at them. You know, that's not something that you need to do. And I, you know, I knew what my problem was. And Dr. Angler, wherever he is. He's right there. He's right there. He's Hold your hand there. up. I can't the see you. There he, is. <laughs> he made me happy. And, you know, I feel more confident with myself. And I think that I'm a better person now. We're back. And the newfound confidence that our guests are experiencing due to their brand new bus lines is something that our next guest has seen before. Dr. Alan Engler is the plastic surgeon responsible for all of their operations and the author of the book, Body Sculpture. How does it feel to see these women? You have transformed not only their bodies, but their minds. It really feels great. I mean, I enjoy doing the surgery, but the ultimate reward is in seeing how happy these women are, particularly since it's such a lovely group of women. It's a pleasure to make them this happy. Ah, oh, brings tears to my eyes. Is there anything they need to know now? Are there any risks? Can they not horseback ride? Can they, what? <laughs> well, that was just off the top of my head. No. No, they can really do anything. I would say, you know, you still have to behave yourself. You're still responsible for your actions. You just look fabulous. That's all. All right. And who is a good candidate for any plastic surgery? I mean, it, is there anything that people need to know? For this procedure or all or procedures? Or all procedures. Well, each procedure has its own set of criteria that would make somebody a good or not a good candidate. Certainly for their own benefit, they should read about the procedures, find out whether or not they would be good candidates. If you have medical problems, you're not likely to be such a good candidate. For breast implants, in general, a relatively slim frame with the lack of breast tissue is a pretty good start anyway. Really? And uh, what about sensitivity? I know we talked during the commercial break, but overall they should not lose sensitivity? No, in fact, the sensation is often enhanced. The incision is tiny. I mean, you can ask them that, but I think they'll agree that it's all, if anything, a little bit better. Really, and the scars are really tiny, right? There's yeah. the, uh, even two weeks later, they're you can like, barely see them. Like, you can't even see them, yeah. Really? Amazing, amazing. Anybody have questions for the doctor? I know you do. I know you do. Oh, of course, it's across. Okay, wait, yes. You spoke already. Let me give someone else a chance. Yes, honey, come on over here. Oh, I, you know, I know what I ask you. Uh, this is not necessarily covered by insurance. It's, How much does this cost? It's not covered at all by insurance. Prices vary tremendously in different parts of the country. Um, in the range of several thousands of dollars, including the surgical fees, the implants, and the anesthesia. Okay. Yes. Wow. Yes. I just have a question for the doctor. Um, I'm not trying to get um, an implant, but I'm trying to find out, do he do reductions? He does everything. You do reductions, right? I do breast reductions, yes. I need that. Me yeah. and my friend. Now, insurance does co cover breast reduction. Insurance will often cover a breast reduction if enough breast tissue is being removed, and it depends on the individual insurance company. That's something we have to check out before the surgery to see what the criteria are for that particular company. All right, maybe I'll give you his card or something, okay?